Right, okay. So the last way of solving um, the grade um, calculator would actually um, be to use a dictionary. Because if you remember a dictionary, a dictionary has a set of keys which are unique. And in this case, the grades are unique. There's no two grades the same. And then it has um, values match those keys. So actually, we can do this in a very elegant way by just having um, each of these grades set up as a key and then also have um, the percentages set up as values. So we're going to do grade dictionary equals. This time we're going to use a brace, which is a curly bracket, um, because dictionaries all use curly brackets, whereas lists use the square brackets. Um, and then we're going to set this out. Notice that these are all strings, so A star is here. And after each one, um, you'll remember we use a colon, so A star is matched to 85%. We'll use a, co a comma. And then the A grade is matched to um, 80%. And then the B grade is matched to 70%. and the C grade is matched to 60%. We can just stop there for now and you can come back and add to that dictionary later um, because we need to test if it works first. After that we'll do the standard desired grade. So what is their desired grade? Um, and that's a question so we're going to use input. Um, what grade do you wish to achieve? Um, because the grades are all in capital letters, we are going to add in dot upper. And don't forget your open and close bracket here. And then we're going to, going to add, um, I suppose we're going to print, or we could add a try and accept like we did in um, the previous one. So let's just do a print. So we can say print, you will need to achieve And then concatenate to that is we're going to look up the grade dictionary. And then in square brackets, we're going to say, what are we actually looking for? And it's the desired grade. So the key is the desired grade. And hopefully what that should return is you will need to achieve. It'll go to the grade dictionary, which is here. It'll take the desired grade, which is stored in the variable, look it up, and then whatever the key says, it will bounce out the value. Okay, let's have a look if that works. Let's run this. Um, I'm going to do a quick save. So, um, dictionary grade calculator. Obviously, we should be storing this um, in our actual folder. So, let's go to my documents. Uh, let's get to coding projects. We can just store it in there for now. Okay, so it'll ask what grade do you want to achieve? And if I say um, an A star, it should say you will need to achieve 85%. So that works. The only issue is, is if we run this and um, we enter something which doesn't yet exist. So let's say, for example, the student who's targeting an E it'll just come up with an error. And obviously we don't want that to occur, so I would just place a try and accept around all of this. So just put a try here. Because we've got a colon, we'll need to indent. And then when we accept, we can say print um, this grade is not recognized. That will catch the error now. So let's say, for example, if we put um, E and that's not coded yet, it will say this grade is not recognized. It doesn't loop back again, but there are various ways of doing a loop which are covered in the other tutorials. So we could do a while loop, so we could add a while true. Um, you could say while a certain condition is being met, or actually we could put the whole of the program in a procedure. Um, but for that, you can have a look at some of the other tutorials for while loops or looping your program using a procedure. And that's it.